Knock, knock. Who's there? Um, give a sock. Give a sock who? For providing socks. <laughs> It's been rough, bro. It's been the saddest thing today. The fact that our room is always a mess. This thing's been here since the Super Bowl. Yeah. Literally. Like, it has not moved. <laughs> I literally told Josiah, I was like, Josiah, just throw it out. Like, we can make a new queso. Oh, no. Like, I still use it. And now this queso will be here for another four days. Look at that thing. Would you eat that? Probably not. <laughs> Wait, what are you making right now? I'm uh, making some ass noodles. Why do they call it ass noodles? It smells like ass. Ooh. <laughs> 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 it tastes like... I call them booty nudies. <laughs> no, you don't. I call them booty babies. <laughs> they smell like booty, but they don't taste like booty. You can just say ass. Well, I don't cuss. <laughs> ever. I haven't ever cussed in my life. Remember that one time you said the F word? Oh. Spin that shit. It's a thousand. Right? Spin that shit. That does not smell nice, like at all. I know, right? Why do you eat it? <laughs> it's delicious. Dan, what is that? New York University. He's literally trying to leave on us. Are you transferring? He's literally trying to transfer, bro. Open it. Isn't that a federal crime? We're kidding. We're not opening it. Ooh, his application was denied. He's not smart enough to get in it. Why you, bro? <laughs> Who am I kidding? Stop, I have homework. I don't want to talk to you. You can interview me between the times of 3 and 4 a.m. on Saturdays. Fine. I'll do an info interview. Call my agent. I'm doing the hey like this because Josiah wants me to get his full outfit in because he thinks he looks really good today. Hey. We've heard your feedback. We've heard your criticism. Now we're going to let you guys get to know us a little bit better. So Ryan, we're about 20 vlogs in right now. And most of the people don't really know you. Like they know your face and they know your name. But who are you? It's like one of those... Interviews, yeah. the interview yeah. things where there's different camera angles. <laughs> and then when I say something really dramatic, I'll look at the camera. Um, if you were in 127 hours, would you cut your arm off and eat it, or would you just cut the arm off? First off, you didn't eat it. You just cut it off. His bionic arm that he got, replaced, he, it, it's a climbing hook. It also acts as a water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> so if you lose one limb, are you called a paraplegic? Because you're not pair. It's not a pair. Yeah, that's actually true. I think you're a single-legic. That doesn't sound right. Oh. A monolegic. Well, what else would you call it besides a disability? A syndrome. <laughs> oh, it's like uh, Incredibles. <laughs> like Aquaman. <laughs> See in The Incredibles? He's got hypothermia. That's freeze, dude. I think that's you're thinking of freezies, and they have those at movie theaters. Those are icy. <laughs> <laughs> So what's your weakest strength? Like your 10 strength is probably like being invisible to people. Like your best strength. Like being dumb, that probably be number 10 yeah. for you. But what? the worst thing about you Wait. is like your humor or your personability. Like your personality, <laughs> that's the worst thing. Wait. So what's the middle ground for you? Sorry, go back. <laughs> Personally, I consider my weakest strength is my ability to just take something, something not even really necessarily totally sensible and to make it, what were we talking about? What the fuck? <laughs> so what happens during muck week for you, Ryan? I wake up, I put on black, I get sad. But not to wallow in my own self-pity, but it's more of a time for reflection and self-doubt. Realization <laughs> that suffering is all we will ever endure. I think of a funny way to say des uh, Despacito. Yeah, Despacito. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it was the great philosopher yeah, yeah, yeah. Despacito that said all we do is doubt, but <laughs> I counter and I say all we do is suffer. We have like 15 year olds watching this run. I can't put that in there. Life is full of doubt and you will suffer because of it. Yeah, on that note, I think I'm gonna cut Ryan's interview a little bit short. Um... <laughs>